low platelet count leads to excessive bleeding in the body. Now, it is a condition that is known as thrombocytopenia. Now, let's recall what are platelets. Well, platelets are very small, non-nucleated blood cells, almost 1.5 to 3 micrometer in size. They function to stop bleeding by sticking together to form a clot. They're also known as thrombocytes. So the formation of platelets is termed as thrombopoiesis. And it is initiated by a hormone known as thrombopoietin. Where is this happening inside the body? Well, it is happening inside our bone marrow, which is the soft spongy tissue inside our bone cavities. Now, platelets have a lifespan of 8 to 10 days. You must remember that the normal concentration of platelets in the blood is 150,000 to 400,000 cells per microliter of blood. Now, keep this range in mind since thrombocytopenia is observed when the platelet count falls below 150,000. And obviously, when the platelet count is low, we may observe excessive bleeding in the patient due to loss of normal hemostasis. Let's see the effect of this low platelet count with a bleeding tendency in a patient. Now, I want you to imagine a traffic light. It displays the colors green, yellow, and red. Now, the range between 100,000 to 150,000 is slightly lower, but it is not alarming, meaning that normal function of the platelets is still taking place, and hence normal hemostasis is observed. Now we denote this range by the color green, so we will consider this as our safe zone. The yellow color in a traffic light is the range between 20,000 to 100,000. Imagine this as an alarming phase since this is where the bleeding time increases. Re do you remember the bleeding time is the time required for the platelet adhesion and aggregation to form a platelet plug on the wounded area of the blood vessel? So this is a yellow color. Now the range that which is less than 20 is red. This is the danger zone. This is where there's risk of spontaneous bleeding from our skin, mucous membranes, into our brain, our pulmonary cavity, and even our retina. You can see how this can even prove to be fatal in extreme cases. So repeat after me. 100,000 to 150,000 is our safe zone. It is green. 20, thousand to hundred thousand is yellow meaning it's slightly alarming and less than twenty thousand is our danger zone now in the last two cases platelet transfusions must be required to cover the trauma cost 